Hey friends, Dubmaster Khan here. Thanks for checking out the channel. So in my last video, we went through the Synair 3 clone by Helensen, and I showed you a bunch of the sounds from it triggered from this pad back here. And it's a really cool analog synth, and I encourage you to check one out and build one for yourself. But also, I understand everybody can't do that. So I did make samples of the thing, and I showed them off in the last video too. But in this video, we're, we are going to actually kind of make a digital reggae beat with them and show off some of the sounds a little bit more. So let's get started. So for Christmas, I got this new keyboard. Um, somebody actually commented that my old keyboard needed crest white strips. So this thing is about 13 years old. It's time to retire it. Um, and with this new keyboard, the Arturia Keylab 61, it has these cool pads and, and I've built the sampler to be triggered by these pads. So you can see that's that hi-hat that I sampled. And you can see that I have it here in Logic Sampler on a hi-hat group so that when this is opened and I close it, it'll actually close. It won't just ring on. And um, the rest I have routed here a kick. I have two snares, just the same thing, but on two pads. It's actually triggering um, the noise, uh, a tom sound, as well as an acoustic snare to get that kind of thwack, you know? And then I have three sets of toms here, short toms, medium decay, and long decay. And then a kind of a long, cool one. So basically, um, what you see here is there's actually multiple samples per pad. Um, so you can see that it's being triggered here. The low quiet one is lower pitched. And then if you hit it louder, it hits the, the top one. So that's the low one. And then same for this. And that's kind of like the real thing. You know, if you watch the last video, as I hit it quietly, you know, or less um, intense, it would be a lower pitched. And then when you hit it harder, it hits a higher pitched one. So. Really cool. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's get started here. I already made a beat, but we'll just start from scratch. And I'll start with kind of the intro roll. Okay. Let's see how I did. Let's fix the timing of that. So that's a little bit early. This is the three and that's the four. So now it's perfectly on time, whatever. But the roll was good. So I'm cool with that. And then let's just play a kick pattern. Oops, start earlier. Okay, I'll go back, and since this is Digi, I'll make it perfectly time-ish. Um, actually, I won't make the and ones perfectly on time. I'll leave this one as is. This one I'll move a little bit forward. Just because... You know, you want to have a little bit of swing. My hi-hat's going to have some swing as well. That one should be perfectly on time, as well as this one. Okay. Let's clip that there. Loop this to about there. And then let's do some hi-hat. 
I'm actually going to duplicate this track here. Just. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Okay, there was a good spot in here. All right, so I'm gonna take this and make these on time. I'll leave the other ones alone. Those are kind of the off time ones. Take this. And let's see here. Let's listen. That one needs a little bit of help. Turn off smart timing. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'll loop that to the same spot and then I'll join the two groups. Okay, now let's do snare. Okay, hey look, I was pretty on time on that. <laughs> All right, just for the sake of this video, let's, um, let's just loop that. And then uh, we'll add, there you go. Okay, and then let's let's add some And then let's do a uh, uh, fill here. Let's do like a. Okay, you guys get the idea. I mean, we can add another fill. That's three. It's doing right here. Okay, and let's just join all these together. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but let's keep it going. Okay, um, and then let's play around with some bass. Or should we do the progression? Let's do the progression first. So this is Analog Lab, which um, came with the keyboard. And it's got some really cool, it basically has a bunch of presets for their um, 
V collection, which has like a ton of synths and stuff. But anyways, um, let's just do a quick back forth progression here. <laughs> screwed that up let's try again okay So let's do a bass line. Okay, let's just take a part of that because I kind of did two different things there. It's a weird, I stopped at a weird spot. There, that's what it should be. Yes, this is things pretty often. Okay, um, so what else do we have here? Just another lead. Uh, let's go and let's talk more about the samples because that's kind of the point of this video. Um, I mean, we talked about the different stuff, but let's let's talk about what I did to um, kind of make them sound better, right? So the kick, let's just solo that up. So if I turn off the processing, you know, it needed a lot more top end and punch. So 
I, I did this EQ here and then I did another one that's pretty similar to kind of sculpt it, take out some of the mid range and even more of a boost. So without that one, that one, I mean, it sounds okay, but it just didn't have the, like if I bring it out of isolation, you can't even really hear the kick. Let's play it again. So that's what the EQ on. It's just as loud, but you can't hear it. Okay, so let's move on to the snare. So that's the snare straight from the sample pack. And then this is um, the Ludwig snare that I include in the sample pack. And then they're triggered at the same time just for that super 80s awesome. Um, and let's add some, let's turn on the reverb. Um, so yeah, back to, I'll just turn off the processing. I basically wanted to boost the, the found, like the fundamental, right? Without, just to add that ooh, ooh, and a bit of top, the shh, shh. Like it does, there's nothing wrong with it if I turn it up. I have three samples here. Just to kind of give some variation. It's awesome. So anyways, here's with the EQ. I'll have to turn it down. And then I added a compressor as well. And I just use Logic stuff because I know a lot of you guys don't have the um, expensive plugins. Yeah, I'm just doing 3 dB, um, you know, medium attack and as fast as I can release. Actually, it's an auto release. It's pretty quick anyways. Um, so that's that. And then the Ludwig snare, if I turn off the processing, this is what it sounds like. There's, um, there's three samples there as well. That's this snare <laughs> and um, I just thought that you know it'd be cool to include that in this sample pack just so that you can make a kit right um, that like I've done here so anyways I took out some of the fundamental right because that guy I wanted that ooh from the snare not from the snare right took some of that out added some brightness we really just want the thwack and then i added some overdrive here which really crunches it up it also makes it louder but it's just when i play it with and without without it just brings that thwack and that you know distortion is your friend when it comes to snares it just really helps bring it up and then i also gated it just so that it's even quicker That's without the gate. That's with the gate. So it's just to kind of tighten it up that when you play it with the snare. Yeah. So that's the snare sound. And um, and then I bust all of the tom, all the high toms. 
to come onto this high tom channel here. And it's panned a little bit left. Same with the mid tom. I really didn't do anything to these toms except for cut the low end because um, basically on the high toms, I cut them lower. See, you can see if I turn it off. Um, sorry, if I turn this off. Actually, they're already filtered. So but it takes a little bit of the like super sub lows out of it. And then the mid tom. I don't know if you can hear that extended low end. It's just, it cleans it up a little bit. But yeah, the toms don't need anything. They don't need any EQ or anything like that. And then the low tom. All right, let me turn it up. Just cleaning it up a little bit. Honestly, you don't need it, but that's really it. Um, and then that one long tom sound. So that's really it. Um, yeah, you can pick up this sample pack for 20 bucks. Literally all of the sounds that you heard here are included in that sample pack. But um, let's just go out with a little bit of a jam. And um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Catch you on the next video.